believers, I'm coming to you today from inside my bookcase. <sighs> so, first of all, I am in such a good mood because I just finished rewriting, rewriting, yeah, editing, rewriting uh, book three of uh, my Water Rushes saga. It's coming out this summer, and honestly, because when you write, you're supposed to write, and then you know you leave it for a little bit, and then you go back and read it with fresh eyes. So I just read it with fresh eyes, and oh my goodness! So if you haven't read the first two books, go and read the first two books, and if you have read the first two books, like guys, it's getting so good. I am so excited for you guys to read this. Um, but anyways, today I'm doing my April TBR. Now first of all, let me touch on my March TBR. So for those of you who don't know, I try to read three books a month, which is one book every 10 days, because that seems to be my average. However, last month or this month, well, March month, I have only gotten two books done because I don't know why. I think, I see, I'm going to blame the move. I'm going to blame the fact that I moved house and I was doing a lot of extra stuff that I wouldn't normally have been doing and I, when I would have been reading. So I'm going to blame the move, but I didn't get to my Chrissy Jackson book. So I'm hoping to get to that in another month, but I don't want to change my April TBR because I'm so excited to read the books that I have planned for April. So let me now tell you what those three books are. So I'm going to give you clues. So one of the books I'm going to read, the clues are Darrow, Severo, Howlers, The Red Will Rise. That's about it, and it's a trilogy. Can you guess what book I'm going to read in April? That's right, if you guessed it, it's gonna be Morning Star by Pierce Brown, the third in the Red Rising trilogy. These books, guys. this off. So I read Red Rising like the last year sometime and I read Golden Sun earlier this year. Like I read that like maybe four months ago and then I read Go um, Golden Sun like two months ago. Month before last in January. January, February. Anyways, and then I put this off because I've heard it's incredible but if you know Pierce Brown and his writing style, there's going to be a lot of shocking things and things that you don't want to happen are going to happen. So I kind of, you know where, I don't know if you watch Friends, but you know like Joey puts books in the freezer so that it doesn't like, the story just kind of stops. So I kind of just put it on the bookshelf and just didn't look at it again. But now I'm ready. I'm feeling brave. I mean, Pierce Brown is doing like this iron gold comic thing and all this stuff's going on. So I just need to, I need to just be brave and dive into the rest of this trilogy and then and then move on with my life. Just grieve and mourn and whatever happens, happens. And then I need to move on and get the iron gold and feel like a new, fresh release of life. So, one book I'm reading is Morning Star. So, clues for book two that I plan to read this month. Um, let me think of some clues. Okay, I, I don't want to give easy clues because there's some clues that I, I think could just be so easy. Okay, okay. Um... Ah, uh, okay. Kale Westfall. It's probably a very easy one. Um, Dorian Gray. <laughs> Assassin. Faye. So, you probably got it from the first two that I said, Kale and Dorian. That is, of course, the Throne of Glass saga. So, I've already read books one, two, three, and four. So, the next on my list is... Empire of Storms. So again, this is another one that I've been putting off because I've heard it's a humdinger and you just don't know what to do with your life once you finish reading it. So I've been putting it off as well because of course the next one's coming soon and I'm like, oh maybe I should just wait. But basically I can't wait. And now I'm going to read Empire of Storms this month. So again, I'm hoping to get through three books, but this is quite thick for my 10 day reading and so is Morning Star. So I'm going to see how I go. But the hope is to read Morning Star, Empire of Storms and one other book. So, um, for those of you who don't know anything about the Throne of Glass Saga, which is not likely, but it is a story of a girl um, who becomes an assassin to survive on the streets and she turns out to be much more than an assassin and magic ensues and she goes on an epic adventure with um, some awesome, awesome people and then stuff happens and dragons get involved and um, yeah. I don't even know how to sum this up, but let's just say read Throne of Glass if you haven't already and then read all the other ones after it and get to Empire of Storms so we can read it together.
so excited for these books. These, like, I'm so excited. This is why I didn't want to put Percy Jackson, because I was like, okay, Percy Jackson didn't make it in March, but I need to read these, so April's not changing. Okay, now the third one I actually don't know much about to give clues. So I'm going to give clues that I can get, grasp from the very vague knowledge that I have of it. So, um, Once Upon a Time, Retelling, uh, Alice in Wonderland, and Catherine. Catherine. So, this book that I am reading that maybe you know, maybe you don't, if you got it from the clues, comment below saying that you got it from the clues because that is genius because my clues were pathetic. And that is Heartless. Oh, first of all, can I just stop and take a moment to say I love this cover. I love, again, it's Marissa Mayer. It must be something, I don't know, she just gets the textures. She gets the textures. So I just love the smooth, velvety texture and I love these bumpy, slidey, gildedy, red, crown, vines, awesomeness. I just love the cover. So let's just, let's just stroke the cover for a moment. So I don't know much about Heartless other than that it's an Alice in Wonderland sort of retelling and she, uh, Marissa Mayer, is the author that did uh, Cress and Scarlet and Cinder and Ferris and all those good ones that I really, really am enjoying. I just read Scarlet last month and it was really, really great and I'm loving it. I can't wait to get to Cress. So I feel I have high hopes as well for Heartless. So you may have noticed the kind of reader I am. I read like multiple series at once. So I'm just going to mind boggle myself. I just love, there's just too many stories in the world that I want to read so I kind of just I kind of just read them all at the same time, and it takes me ages to finish a series, but I get to know all the stories. <laughs> and that is it. Those are my three books for uh, the month of April. We have Heartless by Marissa Mayer. Morning Star by Pierce Brown. Aw oh, yeah, aw oh, yeah. And Empire of Storms by the infamous, infamous Sarah J. Mass. And those are all that I will be reading in this month of April. Hopefully I will get through them all. I'm debating which one to start with. I think I'm going to leave Heartless to last because I'm dying to know what happens in Empire of Storms and Morningstar because I know the beginnings of those stories. I'm dying to like kind of finish them off. I think I might start with Morningstar and then it's finished, like that trilogy's done. And then I'll do Empire of Storms, but let's see. But either way, I'm hoping to read these beautiful books in the month of April. So comment below with what you were reading this month. Have you read any of these great books and what did you think of them? But of course without spoilers. But yeah, what did you think of them? Am I going to regret reading Morningstar? Uh, am I going to regret reading Empire of Storms without the next book out? And until next time, I'll see you!